Hello everybody and welcome to the Paper Book Light. My name is Laura Munoz and this week's video is going to be a two-part haul of all the books I have bought at the Cheltenham Literature Festival 2017. As you may know and see from the social media accounts that I'm leaving you here, I have been working there for two weeks. I was bookselling for Waterstones and I have to say it was an incredible opportunity. I got to meet booksellers from all United Kingdom as well as authors. I got to participate in events. I recorded some footage. I am putting it all together in a really nice video so you will see it in the next few days and also I am photographing at the Bristol Literature Festival I am covering a couple of events if you would like to see like what the events are about I'm going to leave you the link in the description box so basically two things before I start I decided to divide the haul into videos this one's going to be the non-fiction haul the other one's going to be the fiction one and friendly reminder that once we reach the 100 subscribers we are going to do a little giveaway so stay tuned spread the word and don't forget to subscribe as well so let's begin so the first part of this haul is going to be dedicated to biographies I bought different memoirs and biographies it's a total of four biographies one of them I bought it after the festival but I decided to include it in the haul because I think it's really worth it so the first one I have bought from this section is what happened by Hillary Rodham Clinton. It's published by Simon and Shuster here in the United Kingdom. It's Harvard and she was one of the highlights of this year's festival. It's basically an account of what happened in the 2016 US election where she was the Democrat candidate. So yeah, 2016, say no more. You know how it ends. And I thought it was really interesting to see her point of view, how she lived this campaign. So, well, let's see what the future brings. And I'm really looking forward to read this book. The second memoir I have bought was also by one of the highlights of this festival, Matt Lucas, Little Me, My Life from A to Z. It's no secret that I'm a Hoovian. I love him as an adult. This one is um, signed as well. I still have the post-it as you can see. And I have to say that he is amazing. I got to take a selfie with him. I was fangirling. One of the other reasons that led me to buy this book is, as the title says, is A to Z. So each letter of the alphabet corresponds to a certain aspect of his life. For example, T is for tardies, G is for gay. I think that is a really interesting concept to play with when you are writing a book. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to read this book and I think it's going to be hilarious. The third one from the biographies is is Martin Parr's Autoportrait, published by Dewey and Lewis. Um, this one is the revised version. Those are portraits from 1996 to 2015. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little labyrinth with actual little balls in it, so you can play in trying to put the balls on his head and I have to say that this well this one is signed as well I'm super happy because Martin Parr is a really good photographer I really love how he portrays people I love his sense of humor you know at first like you open the book and you see okay so um what is this you know but the more you study his career the more you study his sense of humor you get to see that there are lots of layers in his work so yeah Martin Parr auto portray super recommended as well I got to take a selfie with him as well super nice I was like telling him like how much he meant for me and he released another book I think it's called think of Scotland so it's 20 years of photographies taken in Scotland and I will leave you all the books in the description box in the case that there's any in Spanish I will leave it to you as well and on the other hand this is a book that I haven't bought at the festival but I decided to include it in the haul and it's the book of hidden figures that Margot Lee Shetterly and published by William Collins books if you haven't seen the movie go and see it and watch it's a really interesting story it's basically the story on how African American women helped to win the space race um, my dad grew up in the States and he never heard of this and he was like really impressed and angry at the same time because like how come if this is so important in history how come I never heard about this and this is so important the, the movie really makes you think about like lots of concepts we are going to a different part which I wanted to Call exploring different perspectives. So it's Letter to My Funny by the previously presenter Cherry Healy. It's published by Penguin. It's also signed. It's not available in Spanish yet, but I can translate you the title, which is 
cartas a bichocho that's literally what it means and also i really love you know like the visual game on the cover i think it's really original what it led me to buy this book were two things one of them is that it reminded me to caitlin moore's how to be a woman and i thought it was a really original book so i was like mm, this is going to be similar the second one the structure of this book is a set of letters dedicated to the different parts of her body and also the different aspects of her life such as you know like womanhood sex so i I think it's going to be like a really enjoyable book. Really recommend it as well. Really looking forward to read it. So I've been in this literature and rhyme event. How rhyme music transformed the UK culture as a translator and being English my second language, my first one Spanish. Music in general helped me to improve my language's knowledge, especially rhyme music because you know it helps you to develop your ear. And one of the things I really admire from artists and musicians in general is like they are somehow out of didactic linguists. I'm going to start first uh, with one of the books it's also signed it's Kubokanda by Kayo Chingoni it's published by Penguin it's really 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 beautiful poetry book of what it means to transition in adulthood especially when you move to another country you know everything is so different to you one of the things that caught my attention is like how he mentioned like you know playing with the words the musicality I really enjoy it if you want to see my favorite poem I'm gonna leave it to you in the description box it's called Loch Lung on the other hand I've got Hold Tight by Jeffrey Buraki. It's published by Inclus Press. It's also signed. It basically explains to you, uh, you know, millennials, black masculinity, how it is portrayed in media. 50 key songs that mark uh, grind music. One of the things he mentioned in this event was that he was going through this, you know, writer's block. He started to write grind. And the editor loved it so much that not only decided to include it in the book, they included it as an introduction. On the other hand, I've got here with me the good immigrant Nika Shukla was hosting the event uh, he was a fantastic host I already spoke about it in my haul um, if you get to listen to the audiobook because it's read by each one of the authors so it's a collection of 21 essays about what it is to be like BAME in Britain BAME stands for black Asian and minority ethnics really interesting book really recommend it so moving on to the next part i've got two books on bereavement so one of them is a must read is reasons to stay alive by matt haig published by canongate this is a memoir and how matt haig was going through you know a crisis of depression and anxiety how his then girlfriend and now wife andrea helped him i got to meet him i was helping on another author's queue and was like will i manage to meet him after we met him and we got to talk Talk to him and with Andre as well. There were three of us that hugged and cried of emotion because he's so cool. I think this is a must read. I think that we really need to speak out about mental health. It's a really necessary thing and I would love to do a video in the future um, with books that help me with my anxiety. I started reading in the train journey this last couple of days and now I'm here so I'm almost finishing it. I'm really, really enjoyed it so far. The other one I've got here with me is Manor for a Heartache by Kathy Rettenbring. It's published by Vicador. It's a hardback, really nice hardback. And also I got it signed. I was helping in the front of a queue of her signing. This book came in a really necessary moment for me because, um, well, I had recently had the loss. And it's really interesting like, how unconsciously like you're drawn to books that might help you with the different experiences. They define it as survival guide for hard times you know there are d different types of heartache and I think Kathy Ritz and Riggs is a really necessary book to read now and the last part of this haul is about brain and perception so it's the runaway species by david eagleman and anthony brands published by canongate you know it's a really interesting thing to see you know the left versus the right side of the brain how creativity affects our lives how creativity drives us into innovation and what are the physical aspects of our brain that makes us creative a really interesting book and there's going to be a tv series as well on the other hand i thought three books with me two of them belong to the vintage mini collection which are a 
illustrates of different books. You can find it on your local bookshop. And I've got Psychedelics by Aldous Huxley, which is an unabridged straight of the doors of perception. Uh, the bookseller at the bookshop was super excited that I got it because he told me it was fantastic. It tells you the story of how Aldous Huxley took a dose of mescaline, which is a drug like, you know, kind of similar to ayahuasca, had this psychonaut tree and how it changed his life. And you know, the vintage mini collection is really good, you know, for when you want to commute and you want to read something short. That's your book. Last but not least, I've got Death by Julian Barnes, which it's an illustrate of his book, Nothing to be Frightened of. It talks about death and what happens, you know, when we miss God. So, you know, what happens, like in my case, I'm an agnostic. So it's like, how do we face one of the certainties of this life, which is death? So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, keep a thumbs up, have a look to the different videos as well as the second part of this fantastic haul which belongs to the fiction related books. Leave me a comment and tell me have you been to the Children on Literature Festival this year or in another occasion? If so, what did you see? What did you buy? Did you enjoy it? Don't hesitate to leave a comment. Also friendly reminder that there's going to be a giveaway once we reach the 100 subscribers and well, see you soon!